Okay, so I'm in. Um, and I'm gonna go over how to apply for Antarctica as an American citizen. Uh, first thing to note are the seasons. Uh, when I am referring to the summer season, I mean October to February. And then when I'm talking about the winter season, I'm talking about March through September. There are a number of different stations you can work at in Antarctica, but the main one you're gonna hear about is McMurdo Station. Uh, reason being, it's the largest one. Uh, the population is over 1,000 in the summer and about 150 in the winter. But there are other stations you can apply to, McMurdo, Palmer, uh, South Pole. There are also field camps you could be working at, uh, such as Waste Divide. Um, but the main ones are those three stations. So there's basically two different ways you can work in Antarctica. Uh, the first one is being part of like a science grant, uh, working for the OPP, or you can be hired on an Antarctic support contract, the ASC. So you're either going to be on a support contract or a research grant contract. I'm gonna focus on the support jobs because that is what I worked for when I was there. Uh, as it comes out to, I think there's nine support contracts to one grantee contract. Uh, the primary contractor for the United States is Lidos, uh, but that's just an umbrella contractor. Uh, there are a number of different contracts contractors underneath that. A few of them are uh, Mentum, uh, GSC, UTMB, Ken Boric Air, and air center helicopters. Uh, the two I'm gonna talk about the most is Momentum and GSC, uh, just because that seemed to be the largest amount of people I talked to were working for one of those two companies. Uh, Momentum has positions for carpenters, cargo, heavy equipment operators, mechanics, electricians, drivers. Uh, GSC has positions in waste management, food, station services, retail, and lodging. Uh, I myself worked for Momentum as a shuttle driver, and like any other job, you supply online. I think you can apply on Indeed if you want to, but uh, also on the USAP website, they do list all the people you can work for. And I'll put that site down below in the description if you'd like to look for it. Um, you're going to be contacted by your recruiter, and then for me, I got an interview with my hiring manager the one that I actually am currently working with here in Myrtle Station. At the end of the interview, uh, you'll be uh, given either a primary or an alternate contract. Uh, primary is obviously the one that you want, uh, but the alternate just means that if a primary drops out, then you can go in their place. Uh, but don't lose hope if you do get an alternate contract. Uh, that's what I got. And then I changed to primary just three weeks later. Um, in my department, the last two years, every alternate uh, actually became a primary due to like medical reasons or just people who couldn't go from primaries. So don't lose hope. Now, unfortunately, that is the easy part. Um, after that, you have to physically qualify. So you're going to a lot of medical appointments. You're going through a few background checks. You're getting fingerprinted. These are all things you have to kind of go through uh, to get the job. It does take a number of months to get that all done. For me, about three months. The first thing you're going to do is receive an email explaining the physical qualification process and the background check info. Uh, you'll fill out a form with accurate backgrounds. That'll be the first background check. And then you'll start filling out your physical qualification PDF. And once that is validated, that's when you can start scheduling all your appointments. Uh, within the first week, uh, generally you'll get a drug test and you'll bill that uh, straight to UTMB, uh, University of Texas Medical Branch. Uh, next, you'll schedule a lab core appointment to, uh, to do a panel of blood testing, also a direct build to UTMB. Um, after that, you'll do your medical polar physical and your dental polar physical. Both of those you do have to pay for on the spot while you're there, uh, but you will be reimbursed. Just so you have to make sure to keep all your receipts and proof of payment. Uh, for me, it came out to being about $500, and it took about two months for them to uh, reimburse me for that. Uh, that being said, if there's anything like you have a cavity, anything that's irregular on your physicals, you do have to go back and you may have to pay out of pocket for that because they will not reimburse you for any extra um, medical or dental bills. Uh, vaccinations you'll need is uh, the COVID vaccination, uh, a tetanus shot, and then a flu shot. Uh, once all the PQing is done, the physical qualifications, that is most of the battle. Uh, you're gonna fax it to UTMB. Um, once that's all accepted, you're pretty in the clear. Uh, there is one more uh, elevated background check you're gonna go through and then you're gonna go through fingerprinting. But both of those things are kind of like the end of the road. You're almost there. You're about to finish up, which is good because the, the medical stuff is really what uh, drives you insane. I would say for the fingerprinting, uh, definitely schedule it as soon as you possibly can. It can take a few weeks to get in. Uh, you can do it either electronically or through the mail. 
Um, elevated background check takes a little, a little longer than you ex expect, but it did come back in time for me after that. Uh, they'll send you your flights to uh, Christchurch, New Zealand. Well, that's where you fly into to do uh, training and you'll get gear there at the Antarctic Center. They'll put you up in a hotel the entire time you're there. And even if the flights get delayed, which they often do due to weather getting into Antarctica, uh, they'll pay for hotels uh, and give you per diem per day you're there as well as being paid uh, your regular salary until you get there, even if it takes up to a few weeks. The process is pretty lengthy. Um, I think it's worth it in the end. I'm in the library right now here at McMurdo Station. It's pretty amazing. Definitely recommend it. Uh, I may even come back next year. There's a lot of things to see, a lot of places to go and explore. There's Everything is free once you get here. So everything you make here is just profit, which is pretty amazing. And um, yeah, there's a lot of frustration, but I do think the benefits outweigh that. So, so definitely go for it. See ya.